Hello, how's it going? My name is Bluepaw and welcome back to Spotlight. Now, what we do on Spotlight, we jump on Pokemon Showdown, Battle Spot singles, and we use Pokemon that I like and Pokemon that you recommend in the comment section down below. So, if there's a Pokemon that you are dying to see me use in these episodes, let me know down below. Leave a comment down below, I will see that. And if it's a good Pokemon and something that catches my eye, then I will very likely use it in future episodes and you will be featured on the channel. So, speaking of teams and cool Pokemon, let's see what we're using today. We are starting off with Cloyster holding the Focus Sash. This is very popular if you play X and Y, this thing went rampant once it got skill in because it's hidden ability. Shell Smash, Icicle Spear, Rock, Smash, Rock Blast and Ice Shard, very common to set, very effective to set. I'm running Mega Beedrill because I love me some Mega Beedrill. I'm running Adaptability, I have Protect, I didn't run that on the last Mega Beedrill which sucks because what you do is Mega Evolve, go for Protect, get the Speed Boost, if you didn't already know that. And then you're really fast, you can just go for a U-turn and destroy something on your opponent's team. And then running uh, Choice Band Blizzus, good old Azumarill, run the huge power Aqua Jet, play rough Waterfall and Super Power. Choice Scarf Raikou, I love this thing. Volt Switch is just, oh, mwah, beautiful, beautiful move. I love Choice Scarf Raikou. Comfy, yep, I bet you're not used to seeing this in Battle Spot Singles, let alone in any battle. Running the Hidden Ability, Triage, I'll show you what Triage does because I didn't know before I saw it, but this Pokemon's healing moves had their priority increased by 3, so that means that I get priority synthesis, which is great, so I'm running a Calm Mindset, I'm going to get super bulky, super powerful in Special Attack, and heal up whenever I want, and then fire off these two very powerful Dazzling Gleam and Energy Ball. And finally I have Gothitelle, I'm dying to use a Gothitelle, Shadow Tag, Calm Mind, Citrus Berry, we're just going to set up, trap something, and then hopefully sweep an entire team. Team. So, let's jump into our first battle. So as I was saying earlier, if there's a Pokemon that you would like to see me use, then let me know in the comments down below. That is the best way to reach me, and uh, it'll make these episodes very interesting for sure. My opponent is bringing Tapu Lele, Alakazam, Dugtrio, Blaziken, Thunderous, and Swampert. This is a very scary looking team. Immediately I can see uh, not a whole lot of pervasive weaknesses, a Dark type, move, Ghost type, um, Dark and Ghost type are very good against this team. Um, also, Grass type is very effective. Uh, Comfy would be good. Bug type is really good against this. So, I'm definitely going to bring, bring Beedrill. I may actually open up with Beedrill. Um, also, Azumarill does really well. Um, he's only got that Thunderous to, um, to counter me. And for the Thunderous, then, I think we should bring Cloyster. Cloyster looks good. I have Azumarill, Beedrill, and Cloyster. There's nothing on his team that can really counter all three of those. Yeah, that's a good that's a good mix. Okay, my opponent opens up with Swampert. That's not too bad for me actually. Um, he could set up Stealth Rocks if he was uh, playing 6v6. Whatever he goes for, I don't want to take an Earthquake with my Beedrill, so I'm just going to go for Protect, get my Super Speed, see what my opponent wants to go for. If he goes for Stealth Rock, he went for Stealth Rock. Wow, he actually went for Stealth Rock. That sucks because it breaks my Focus Sash on my Cloyster, but hey. Something tells me that Blizzard is going to have a good time with this. So I'm going to go for U-Turn. It's going to do a butt ton of damage you can see there. As long as I have my Beedrill, I think I'm set. I'm going to predict the Earthquake going to my Choice Band Blizzus. There's the Earthquake. That does 42%. That is fine by me. I am Choice Banded. Nothing on my opponent's team wants to take a Waterfall from an Azumarill. Uh, so, hmm. But that type of Lele is troublesome. Especially because of the lack of priority. My opponent goes for Yawn. I did not expect that. But the Waterfall is going to take the Swampert out, that's good for me. I can very comfortably switch out now if I want to and get rid of this drowsiness on my Azumarill. I'll be very scared right now if my opponent goes into Tapu Lele. Thunderous. Okay, that, that's doable. I can I can hang with that. What we got to do then is unfortunately let Blizzus go down. Uh, let Cloyster come in and Ice Shard this thing, which seems like a dodgy play. Hmm, I'm trying to think if there's anything I could do. My, my Beedrill is at 100% health. It is very frail though. But, having said that, it has a better chance of living an electric type move than my Azumarill, especially because Bug resists electric, correct me if I'm wrong, but what do I value more? Well, I haven't seen the Tapu Lele, I, I would have, I, if I was him I would have brought in Tapu Lele then, so I'm going to switch to the Beedrill, predicting that he doesn't have Tapu Lele, or is just very strange. There's a Thunderbolt, we do live, that is great for us, and right here, we do outspeed, unless this thing is Scarfed, but most people don't run Scarfed Thunderous because of the Prankster. Uh, a knockoff here would be great, so I'm gonna do that. Or we go for protect. I say, hmm, poison jab would be best actually because of the Tapu Lele. Poison jab, get out of my face, Thunderous! That is how you one shot a Thunderous. And his last Pokemon is Alakazam, which we still outspeed unless this thing is true scarfed. So I'm going to go for the U turn here. Let's see what happens. Do we outspeed this Alakazam? We do not, and we get onto a psychic. Okay, now this, this game's getting real now. I now have the Aqua Jet on my Azumarill. We are not living an adaptability psychic from this Alakazam. I'm just going to hit Aqua Jet. 
how much do we do? 75%, this is going to come down to the wire. I've got a bad feeling we're going to lose this one, but we do carry Ice Shard on our Cloyster. I'm pretty sure we have enough, despite not getting a Shell Smash up. Come on, can we take it out? We do, and we snatch the win there. We are not even using fully OU Pokemon, and we get our first win. That's great. Let's jump into our second battle. Can we get two wins in this episode? I really hope we can. Okay, my opponent is bringing Venusaur, Tapu Koko, Greninja, Celesteela, Blaziken, and Landorus Darien. So, nothing new really in the in the battle spot scene against Blink Boy, who is a Team Galactic admin. Pretty cool. Let's see. Um, well, straight away, there are no real. There's a double flying weakness, which is cool. Um, double electric weakness, but he's got an immunity and a resistance, so it's a really well built team on my opponent's part. Very competitive, not something I like much. Um, Raikou does really well because I carry Hidden Power Ice for the uh, Landorus and everything else does not want to take a Volt Switch. I'll actually open up with Raikou. Uh, what else wants to come? Honestly, Gothitelle has a pretty good time. It's only the Greninja I have to worry about. Let's bring Comfy and Gothitelle, because why not? Let's see how badly we can ruin our chances. Okay, Tapu Koko. Now this thing is scary, especially if it's Scarfed, but it has nothing for electric types, which is pretty cool. I can fairly comfortably just Volt Switch out. I'm going to do that now. And I'm going to go out into... Ooh, should we trap this thing? That would be interesting. Well, he can Volt Switch out, so it wouldn't matter. I'm going to go out into Comfy, because I have my leftovers and my synthesis. Let's see what my opponent went for. Thunderbolt! What? I'm specially bulky! How did you do that much damage? Now I'm scared. This thing is probably Specs, uh, which means I just made a boo-boo. Um, I'm going to go for Synthesis, because I get that priority. But we go down to another Thunderbolt. Goodbye, Comfy! Your success was so short-lived. Alright, this thing is um, probably true specs looking at that damage. Tapu Koko is not that powerful. Um, right here, I can go for an extra sensory if I want to. Which seems like a pretty good play. He only has Greninja, so I'm going to... I don't think he's going to predict the extra sensory. He may predict the... Um, did Landorus come in? Oh, Venusaur. Oh, we just got a good playoff. Ooh, unfortunate for my opponent. I'm going to go for another extra sensory. I don't care if this thing is Mega. You are taking that. Wow, Sludge Bomb, but we are taking that. And we can now go for another extra sensory. We've taken out Mega Venusaur with a Raikou. I will take that quite comfortably. That type of Coco, Blaziken. Hello. Well, let's trap the Blaziken. Why not? Let's predict the protect. I've had enough of these Blazikins. Yeah, get your speed boost. Not that it matters, because I am a Gothitelle. <laughs> and I'm just going to fire off a Psychic straight away. Go for Protect. Oh, I should have gone for Calm Mind. Oh, that would have been great. Okay. Well, I don't think Blaziken has anything to take out a Gothitelle in one hit. Even if it's a Z move, Fire move. Okay, maybe. We're bulky. No! Oh, my plan failed. Okay, we may lose now to Blaziken. We are Choice Scarfed. It comes down to whether we can outspeed a Blaziken and go for an extra Sensory. Can we? Flare Blitz? Nope. Oh, that sucks. We got really close to winning that game. I just, all I had to do, I think, if I could have lived a calm mind, actually, no, we still would have lost because it's a physical. Oh, we had a chance, I guess. We had a chance, but, ah, oh, well, well, that's going to wrap up our episode of Spotlight. So, I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please show some blue paw power to that like button down below. I do really appreciate it. And also, don't forget to subscribe to never miss a video coming your way. I upload new videos every weekend, mainly on Saturdays, but right now I've got plenty of time, so I'm uploading every weekend. Have a great day. Peace.